I want to talk to you about Joe Paterno. He is the head coach for Penn State, was the head coach for Penn State. So this guy is a myth, a legend, an idol, the greatest coach in history, the greatest football coach in the college history. Now, he's losing his job. He's just lost his job, and the head of Penn State has lost his job, both of them. Why have they lost their jobs? The reason why they've lost their careers is because they're caught up in a scandal. There's a guy named Sandusky, and Sandusky was an assistant coach under him. And Sandusky was raping little boys in a program that he set up, I guess, and working right out of Penn State, raping little boys in the showers at Penn State. So what happened was, when this was going on, someone reported to this mythic coach, said, hey, Sandusky's in there raping a little boy in the shower, something like that. So what, what, is, what does Paterno do? Does he call 911? No. He tells the authorities at the college, and they all drop the ball. No pun intended. I guess quite a lot of time goes by, and more children get molested, and this coach does nothing about it. There are people out there rioting, rioting at Penn State because this coach got fired. He's not the rapist, and they're going crazy. They're attacking news vans, going nuts, okay, because they love this coach and they don't want him to leave. But now, imagine this. Imagine if the guy came up to this mythic coach and said, hey, coach, instead of there's a boy being raped by Sandusky in there, what if he said, coach, your grandson's being raped in that shower right now? Well, you better tell somebody. We'll make a report. You'd run in there and you'd grab and protect that child. So the second he heard, he should have went over there. He should have got some guys with him. They should have grabbed him, held him till the police came, and the guy should be gone. And... If that's the case and he didn't stop it, then this guy Paterno, as far as I'm concerned, is an accessory to raping children. And not because he actually planned doing it, but imagine this. Hey, there's children being raped over here, here at your place, your people. And then you report it. Then a few weeks later, you're at work and you see Sandusky standing there. Hey, Sandusky, how's it going? Oh, pretty good. Hey, didn't we... Didn't you tell me that Sandusky was raping little children and didn't we report that? Yeah, yeah, we did. He's raping little children in the shower. Anyway, we got to get back to football. Uh, so we got some big plays planned. Wait a minute. Wait, what's going on in your head? Has football jumped into your brain and taken your morality away? How dare you? What a shameful disgrace that he was so engulfed in his own career, his own football team, that he would let children that could be his child raped. They, they lose their precious, idol, mythic legend coach who won games. And no one is even talking. These people out there that are rioting, they're not saying, oh my gosh, what about all the victims? See, this is that crazy brain that humans have, that mob mentality brain when they forget this, the fact that this coach, if everything is true, these allegations are true, um, could have prevented and should have prevented this ongoing tragedy. But you know, granted, he did report it. Not enough. Um, so anyway, he should be fired, at least. So uh, that's that.